Okay, 2011 Key West 211 walk around. Very clean boat. It's powered with a uh, Yamaha four stroke outboard, stainless steel prop, 225 four stroke. It's going to have a little giddy up, integrated swim step uh, with ladder, all aluminum trailer. Again, very nice uh, shape. Fish finder, it's got the recessed uh, trim tabs. Okay, here's the helm area. It's got a GPS 740S uh, Garmin mapping system. Full gauges. DHF radio. Lenco electric trim tabs. Analog gauges. There's all the uh, accessory switches here. Well labeled. It's got a stereo system, footrest. The bigger the better. Break out the heavy lines. A cup holder storage area over here by the helm seat. It's a cabin area. There's some uh, chilling rod extenders, Isinglass for the bimini top. Very nice condition. These are some jump seats that go at the stern, removable jump seats. So you have additional uh, seating. Cabin is in there. Very nice condition. There's even some storage way up forward you can see. From the coast of New England. So walk around. It's kind of a step up Keys. along the port to start with side. West Coast to get up here. There's a hatch, anchor locker, all welded bow rail. Boat does have pop-up cleats. And there is an integrated uh, bait tank in the transom as well. Raw water wash down. And storage, rod storage on the boat. There is a bait tank. Cushion that goes over here for additional seating. Nice, uh, large old uh, bait tank. You can get the removable seats and go in the port and start. You can actually sit. There's raw water wash down, and on the starboard side is a fresh water wash down. So there's a fresh water holding tank, self bailing deck. Kind of a unique feature is these uh, pop up uh, fender clips. It's kind of something a little different, plus your regular cleats pop up. Stainless steel trolling rod holders, combing pads, and you'll also see up forward there, they also have another one of those. Okay, behind each of the seats, there is a locker for wet or dry storage. You can use them for little fish boxes. There's also some courtesy lights here. Overall condition of the boat is excellent. Port side storage. And a uh, couple port and starboard batteries. And then there's your uh, battery switch. Here's the starboard side of the boat. Very, very good condition. A couple little marks here, but I think those will buff right out. Probably from a fender. Starboard side of the boat. Here's the hull. Again, very, very good condition. Trailers, aluminum trailer, also on the port side of the hull. Very clean. No gouges, scratches. Port side of the hull. Again, very good shape. Deep V hull, nice size lifting strikes. Nice reverse chine. 
That's about fair. 